Richard Wolf. I'm the captain of the Kern River Valley Veterans Honor Guard. We've been asked by the family to give military honors to uh, one Jeffrey Clark, U.S. Army. We are honored to do so. The gentleman next to me is Everett Evans. He is our chaplain. With that, we will begin. Today, we as members of the Kern River Valley Veterans Honor Guard are assembled to pay a lasting tribute of respect to another comrade that has, gone, has been called to the high command and has gone on to report to the commander of assault. Let us not forget comrade Jeffrey Clark left his home and family to answer his country's call and serve with honor and pride, then returned to take up his life with many memories of his duty to his God, his country, and his flag. I will now ask the chaplain to invoke the divine blessing. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, Father of all, we entrust our brother to your mercy. You loved him greatly in this life, now that he is freed from all its cares. Give him happiness and peace forever. Welcome him into paradise where there will be no more sorrow, no more weeping or pain, but only peace and joy with Jesus, your Son and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Help us to be faithful unto thee and to one another. We beseech thee, look in mercy upon all of us here and assemble with thine own tenderness. Console and comfort those bereaved by the hand of death. Give them the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Eternal rest grant unto our brother, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May his soul and all of the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. 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 This moment is sacred with the almost visible presence of one who has gone before us. We come to honor the memory of one who offered life and service for God and country. One who is now enrolled in that great spirit army whose footfalls cause no sound. But in our memory, his soul marches on. Proudly, we remember his service to our country. And because of him, our lives are free. Because of him, our, life, because of him, our nation lives. Because of him, the world is blessed. May the ceremonies of today Deepen our reverence for our honored comrade and friend. Let us not enshroud this memory with thoughts of sorrow. Tears or words of sympathy cannot bring back the comfort of those loving hands, or the music of voices still. The solemn pride of that service is theirs, and for the living to remember. We look to those that mourn and realize how futile are mere words to express our deep and abiding sympathy in your loss. May you feel our comrade is at rest and in endless peace. Surely there is an afterlife for all who have been loyal and true, a life to which light and peace shall come, where the burden shall be lifted and the heartache shall cease, where the love, the hope, and the fulfillment that escapes us here shall be given to us and be ours forever. As much as God hath taken out of this world the soul of our departed comrade, we therefore commit his ashes to the ground, and his soul to endless peace to rest. The body returneth to earth as it was, and the spirit returneth unto God who gave it. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we're going to have the playing of tabs, followed by the, the rifle salute, with, followed by the playing of tabs. And Retire the flag. Will everyone please rise? For any military or ex military, please give a military salute at this time. For all civilians, please put your right hand over your heart. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the military portion of this service. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family of Mr. Jeffrey Clark. Thank you for his service. God bless everyone. Our guard is missed.